I'm Chrissy Chin, XRN with no business degree turned CEO of a seven figure brand. But it wasn't all that long ago that I was craving more money and time and was desperate to figure out how to create the life I dreamed of. After a few failed attempts and lessons learned every step of the way, I reached my goals of building a powerful standout brand online that I have today. A brand that gives me more freedom than I ever thought possible and is serving thousands across the globe, changing their lives every day. I created the Badass is the New Black podcast to give you the confidence in your already badass self and equip you with the business knowledge in a no-fluff, step-by-step way so you can put it into action now and build your own powerful standout brand online. A brand that attracts your ideal clients that are ready to buy and learn how to scale your business through automation just like I did. So you can work less and enjoy more of your life. If you are a new or experienced ambitious entrepreneur or in network marketing ready to turn your side hustle into a real business you love, make an impact on the world and create the life you dream of, you are in the right place, my friend. Let's dive in. Hey yo, we generated $127,000 in the month of June. And someone asked me in one of my masterminds, what attributed to generating that much money in one month? And I thought, well, gosh, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna analyze what we did and what worked and share that. And when I when I did that, I came up with four things that we did during the month of June and during you know this particular time in June where we generated so much money. And so I'm gonna talk about that today in the podcast, the four things that really helped us generate so much momentum and so much uh, revenue for the month. Are you ready? Are you ready to hear it? These are things that you absolutely can implement into your business because it's not something that's super, um, like something that can only be done in my business. In This is in the Grow Workspace brand, our subscription-based model, and we support a very specific ideal customer uh, who works for a very one specific network marketing company. Um, But these four things that we did, you can apply to your business. So I went back and I analyzed, and this is what I really realized that what I had put into motion just because I thought it was a good idea was really what attributed to so much success. So number one, we ran a promotion and a sale, kind of the same thing, (laughs) or in a promotion, a a campaign and a sale, whatever, at the same time that people were expecting to see a sale, which means they were ready to open their wallet. Okay, so there was convention, a convention of the company happening, and everyone expects sales and great deals and they're paying attention. And of course this year, everything was virtual. So everyone was paying attention online and they were expecting sales. And so we ran a sale. And so people were paying attention. People were ready to open their wallet. Now, if you don't service someone that has a convention where they're paying attention to, I want you to think about holidays like Black Friday, or if you're in the States, Labor Day or Memorial Day. Now, like you see those commercials for furniture and it's like big Memorial Day sale or Labor Day sale. Like people are, they wait to buy their furniture for their house until those days because they are wanting a sale. They're looking for a deal and they're ready to open their wallet and they will furnish their entire room during that sale weekend. So they're expecting it. So for your business, guarantee you're having a Labor Day, a Memorial Day and a Black Friday this year that you can think about what kind of campaign do I wanna run? What kind of sale? do I want to promote during that time where people are paying attention, they're waiting for that sale to come in, and I'm going to be there in front of them when they're ready to open their wallet. If you're in another country, I'm sure that there are holidays where people are more prone to holding sales. So don't miss out. Be one of those people that's participating in that. So that was one thing that we did. We ran a promotion and a sale at a time where people expected a promotion and a sale to be run. They were ready to open their wallet. Number two, 
I worked really, really hard on exposure, getting exposure. And what I did was I traded a service for promotion. So even if you don't have the money to buy, you know, a sponsored spot or get plastered on someone's website, maybe there's some creative things that you can do um, in order to get there. So you could trade something to get, to get, um, you know, marketing, market, get marketed from them. Hello, I can't think of my words. So what I did was I traded a service for a promotion. I worked my magic to become a sponsor in one of the events that was happening. So typically this time of year at convention, we would have a vendor booth at this big event that happens at one of the hotels at convention. And since everything went virtual, so did this vendor event, which was so innovative. I was so proud of these girls that run it to come up with like, hey, let's do this virtually. And each person will have a virtual booth um, on like a landing page. And they had no idea what they were doing. And so I reached out and I offered my services more like consulting to help them get this set up online so that uh, it could be available to everyone. And so I you know, met with them a couple times, gave them some tips and advice, things to think about. There was a couple other people working together to help them make this happen. And they had a couple sponsorship spots that they had already filled. I had like missed, they had all gotten in right before me. I wanted to be a sponsor in this event to be plastered all over the website and it just, it didn't happen. And so I just kept kind of pushing and saying, you know, I would love a sponsor sponsorship spot. like. Can you make room for one more? And you do not need to pay me for consulting. I would be happy to just help you figure out how to do this um, and would love that sponsorship spot. Someone ended up, they ended up coming to me and saying, we're making a fourth sponsor and we would love for you to be that fourth sponsor. And someone ended up dropping out of the sponsorship once everything went virtual. Um, no idea why, that's their own thing. But so there ended up only being three of us, but I did get that spot. They made an extra spot for me because I was willing to help out. And, and to be honest, I was willing to help even if I didn't get that sponsorship, you know, because building the relationship with them, um, you know, it, it was important to me and helping and serving in a way that I could because everyone's going through challenging times trying to figure out life right now, right? While things are have changed so much. So it was something that I could do to give back. But in return, I was able to get a sponsorship spot. So we were plastered all over the website, which just gave us that much more exposure. Um, and I still paid for the sponsorship. I actually didn't get the spon sponsorship free and I wasn't expecting to. I was like, I am totally willing to pay to support you guys. Um, so I still paid, but I was able to get that spot. So um, getting creative on ramping up your marketing. Okay, how can you get maximize your marketing for the um, sale or promotion that you're doing? Let's take a tiny little break from this badass podcast to talk about Kajabi, or as my husband calls it, Punjabi. Babe, it starts with a K. K-A-J-A-B-I. This is the platform that literally makes all the magic happen. It's plug and play, no coding necessary. And guess what, you guys? The best thing about it is that you get your very own mobile app with it. I looked into building an app and it was gonna be over $100,000. You get your own right there. The platform is so affordable too. So instead of paying for individual platforms like your CRM system, which is gonna host your email, your landing pages, which is gonna capture your email, your website, which is gonna be where all the magic happens, a community space, it's literally all in one. So it doesn't matter if you wanna host courses, educational classes, have libraries in there for your team, this is absolutely the way to go. And I have a month free for you to check it out. So hop over to my website, thechrissychin.com forward slash Kajabi, K-A-J-A-B-I. And you can check out a month for free. I cannot wait to see what you create. Please do me a favor, send me a DM, send me an email once you've created something so I can see it and check it out. Can't wait for you to get started and scale your business like a badass boss. All right, let's get back to the podcast. Three, I made our audience an offer that they could not refuse. So we have 
content that has built up over two and a half years. And our new members that come in and subscribe to our service get a tiny bit of the content from the past. And then their membership covers content that they get, that new content that comes out every single month. And so what we did, we do sell little bits and pieces of the content. So there are classes, um, you know, teaching essential oil classes for, for this company. And um, we sell those classes individually for $10. Okay, so if they were to go back and have to purchase every single class, it would be over $500. But what we did was we bundled everything, all of our content that we had ever created in two and a half years, and we packaged it up for $147. And we put on there, saves you $435. Okay, so that was one promotion. We made it so good that they couldn't say no. They saved hundreds of dollars. And by the way, a little tip for you, it's much better to say how much someone's gonna save than a percentage. Like instead of saying saves 10%, um, saying the dollar amount typically will be better. Of course, if they're saving 90%, like 90% is such a huge percentage, like that will get someone's attention. But by saying saves $435, they're really seeing how much is gonna stay in their wallet. And so it's so much more beneficial than saying a percentage. Um, and then for our subscription, so that was like a a la carte one time, purchase everything all in one. And then our subscription service, we usually, dis we, it's discounted already to take a few months off if you opt in for annual versus monthly. So you're already saving three months, you're saving over $50. Um, but we took an additional $30 to bring that below $100. So $99 for the year, and we had it renew at $99 um, for them the next year moving forward. And we've never done that before. It's usually just for this first year, and then it renews at the regular price of $129. And so again, both of those options were huge, they couldn't resist opening their wallet, investing in their business, and doing the membership, the annual membership, and purchasing the bundle for $147. They couldn't resist it. So we just had so many big payments coming in um, during the month of June, which really helped us build up to that $127,000 for the month. And then number four is we leveraged email marketing. So this is why I teach and preach that you need to be building your email list. I do not care if you are in network marketing, if you are a coach, if you're a blogger, a journalist, whatever. I don't know why I said journalist. Um, whatever you are, that was like really out of left field. Um, I don't care what your business is, you need to be building an email list. Uh, because when you have something you want to tell everyone, you want to share with them, you cannot rely on a Facebook post getting right in front of them. No email is not dead, people still open email, and when there's a sale happening, they pay attention to their email a little bit more. And so we leveraged email marketing. Now, I also, just like I'm sure you do, get a little weary of sending too many emails. Oh gosh, I don't want someone to unsubscribe from my emails because they're getting two emails. So think about all the emails that you get to your inbox and how many are kind of like, okay, I wanna unsubscribe. But the reality is that you just bombard people with emails until they buy what you have. And if they unsubscribe, they weren't really interested in it anyway. Um, there's so many people who I just, I delete their emails and I don't necessarily pay attention, but I don't really want to unsubscribe because I'm waiting for like that deal for them to send me. Or when I have more time, I'll pay it, pay more attention. So I haven't unsubscribed. So leveraging email marketing. And, and so at the end, so during a launch, when you have, you know, this is same for like open and close cart. This happened with my course when build a blissful business launched. Um, and we did an open, open the cart, boom, wait list, you're finally able to purchase, build a blissful business course, and we got some people, you know, orders in, then the middle was a little bit slow, and then when the cart's about to close, or when the sale is about to end, you bombard them with email marketing, reminding them that they only have so much time before this offer goes away, and they cannot take advantage of it. And so I had planned for, you know, one email every couple days, and at the end I was like, wait a minute, 
why am I not doing these proven you know, strategies of email marketing at the end of a launch, just like I did with my course? You send emails at least every day, if not multiple times a day. And on that last day, you definitely send emails multiple times a day. And what I did and what I loved, and Kajabi um, has this in their email marketing, is the countdown timer. And so you guys know that I use Kajabi and, and love it. And so I put, created an event in Kajabi and the event was basically the day and time that our sale and promotion ended. Okay. And then I attached the event into the email. And so I'm sure whatever platform you're using, check and see if you can do this, a countdown timer. And so I sent the email and I said, you know, Say, promotion is ending soon or sale is ending soon. I can't remember exactly what I said, but when they opened up the email, they saw the countdown timer that was live and counting down 12 more hours, you know, or the, and the next person that opens it a few hours later, it's gonna say eight more hours, you know, only four more hours. So they really saw how much time they had left. They didn't have to calculate it. Gosh, when do I need to purchase the, this buy? It was in their face. 12 hours left, six hours left, five hours left. Now I didn't send an email every three hours, but whenever they were opening it, I sent it. And then I sent, you know, in the morning and then uh, definitely the afternoon of the last day. And we just had uh, people flooding in, orders flooding in for joining with a membership uh, subscription and purchasing that bundle. So those are the four things that we implemented that helped us generate $127,000 for the month of June. So one, we ran a promotion and a sale at a time when people expected it and were ready to open their wallets. Think Black Friday. Two, I traded a service for, for um, extra marketing exposure. So just maximizing... Um, marketing exposure. And then three, I made them an offer that they couldn't refuse. We made the deal so good that people couldn't say no. And then four, we leveraged email marketing and we pushed hard the last few days of the sale. We emailed multiple times in the last day and we used the countdown timer to really have it stand out that time was of the essence and you needed to jump in now. So think about your business and the next things that you have coming up. What kind of campaigns do you have coming up? What do you have coming up for Black Friday? Because you should already be thinking about what you're gonna do for Black Friday. What is the campaign you're gonna run? What is the promotion that you're gonna do? Start planning, thinking about it now so you can be ready when Black Friday happens. Everyone else is gonna be running a promotion and a sale and you don't wanna be left behind not doing anything. So start thinking about it. All right, that's it for today's episode. I hope it was super, super helpful. Connect with me on all the platforms, social media. I'm the Chrissy Chin, basically everywhere. Um, and I can't wait to hear how you're doing in your business and how this was helpful for you and send me your ideas for what you're doing for Black Friday. Now, little, little thing, if you're in network marketing, sometimes you um, don't have all the control over the promotion. So your company's probably doing promotions. It, as long as it's within your policy and procedure um, to do little promotions, do them. So check with your policy and procedure and do your own promotion during Black Friday or a holiday weekend that you can to build up extra. Don't just rely on the company whose um, product you're promoting. Okay, that's my last little tip. Don't forget to leave a review on the podcast. Let me know what you thought and we'll see you next week.